snowing! It's snowing! What is going on? I'm driving Argentina to Alaska in a tuk-tuk and I'm currently in Chile, heading south to the very bottom of Argentina where I'll officially start the journey. I know what you're thinking, buddy, just go north. But if I'd done that, look at all of what I would have missed. Patty and I have faced border protests, highway blockades, being told to sell the tuk-tuk, overcome forced separation, driven through snowy mountain passes and got stuck more times than we can count. But so far, none of that stopped us. Last episode, we said goodbye to the Chilean locals that took us in and got to driving distance. After a comfortable night of sleep for Patty and I in a night rental caravan, we set out to get as close to the Argentinian border as possible to make the trip across. The cherry on top truly was being shouted the best empanadas we've had on the entire trip, and now we're ready to finally say goodbye to Chile. Here with Patty, and... If we're going to an icy snow pass mountain to cross back to Argentina today, just the thought of that being like frozen with like this rain I'm, and the cold, I'm like, could be a day. Yeah, so pretty gloomy scenes to wake up to, wasn't it, Patty? I just started to pack up the tent, they heard this clunking and then I've just seen Patty's somehow found her way back in, she's not a fan of the rain. <laughs> Yo, in the rain just leaving this like pretty sweet bakery, um, Entre Lagos. It's cold so it's like freaking empanada weather, you know how it is. Walk in, so mix of meat. You never know what's in them, but it's always a good time. Hello. Muy bonito, bonito. Gra gracias. Muy bonito, sí. Oh, te llovió. Sí. <laughs> gracias por el pan. Oh, Chao. Cuídate. Ya, gracias. Bueno. Sí. Um. Un ratito, claro, claro. Fuck. Perdón, <laughs> eh, es frío. Eh. Sí. Gracias. Ciao. I gotta put the door down. She was just taking a cheeky, cheeky photo. Look at that, eh? That's a good empanada, though. Really good. Come on. No salió la foto. Okay, see. Sí. So the man of the bakery mentioned the border with Argentina should be open even with the rain as long as it's not snowing. So I guess we'll just get there and see. Tori's not in love with the cold. It took her a while to get going, but uh, that's why we had her running outside the bakery long enough for, for us to get a couple of photos and that, which is, yeah, it's cool. Sometimes I like apologize to anybody I meet on the road. It's like obviously people are seeing like a tuk-tuk dog combo and they're obviously really curious and have a bunch of questions and sometimes I'm not in the mood to like answer them with, with such passion unfortunately. Um, but that's on me so, I, I, but I do try my best because yeah, it, I know the, the vehicle and then seeing the dog, it puts a smile on people's faces. Yeah, just look at the GPS, we don't have a turn off for another 70 kilometers. So we're just gonna drive straight till then. The happy tears are already started. It's saying, thank you for visiting. <laughs> Argentina, we're coming! <laughs> oh my fucking god, why am I like this, man? I had a great time in Chile and I've got some amazing and fond memories of Argentina. But I don't know, it's like overwhelming. Um, it's been a huge, long awaited dream of visiting the Patagonias in Argentina and we're just about to start living that. How good. Let's see, let's see how it goes here, buddy. I better concentrate on driving. <laughs> Tori's doing pretty well in this wet weather, I'm proud of her. I don't know how well you can see it, but 
That's the Chilean flag, and just in front of us, we've got the, we've got the border crossing. We're here, Patty. We are here. <laughs> Yo, cheeky line, but we're, we're kind of getting there, I guess. <laughs> Made it, surely, right? Alright, we're done with that. <laughs> we're out of here. We're out of Chile. And then we're still going to do the customs on the Argentinian side. Gracias, Chile. Gracias por todo. Yeah, line at the Chilean side through all the paperwork and processing was, was a little long, but I'm doing it comfortably. I didn't try to leave early, so we're doing it at midday, and it is what it is. So, yeah, after looking at the map, I realized we're still a while away from the actual official border, and we're still on the Chilean side, although completing the paperwork and that. Uh, and yeah, we got the uphill battle now. The buses are going that speed, I'm going this speed. Freaking hectic and freezing uphill battle it is indeed. My goodness. Our average 15 kilometers an hour. People are loving us, waving, saying hi on the way, but I'm the, we're just getting there, you know? Um, Those yellow poles, right? That's usually this, like, indicate like, snowfall and where the road is. I'm like, that's where we are with the tuk tuk. Good. I think she's just started to, to shiver a little bit. She wasn't before. I don't personally completely get it. It must be hard to do road works, but always between these borders, the like where it's kind of no man's land, it's still chilly, but officially, but I don't know, it's like they don't care. It is, yeah, even the four wheel drives are on the other side of the road. It's like, this is hectic terrain, my brother. That's a pole and a half. What are you checking out, Patty? I just see you lick, lick the door. <laughs> Guilty, hey? Guilty. Shoot that snow! Well, I jinxed it. We didn't, know. we didn't have snow, and then now we do. What is going on? <laughs> Soon. This, this is some shocking road, guys. Oh, and I've just seen Oh, what? That's snow. Like, I couldn't see it before, but now I definitely can. You guys see that? All that white on the floor. God, golly, I'm just in socks and, and trainers. No way. It's snowing. It's snowing. I'm driving a tuk-tuk in the snow. I gotta pull over. This is this is full fricked, man. This is crazy. I doubt Paddy's gonna want to get out, but I do. That's that's snow, guys. Appreciate you guys, take care. They're just hiking in the snow. Uh, I had a good conversation with these two Norwegian brothers. Um, and they, they said at that, that checkpoint, <laughs> they were getting told they've got to cross with a car because this pass from the checkpoint at Chile and then the checkpoint to Argentina, um, apparently like you can't do it on foot. So they had to ask a car passing through the gate to let them in the car so they could pass through the gate 50 meters and then um, they just hopped out and then then started walking again so they got it they, uh, that was just funny it's like 
officials trying to do official things and these these guys are like we've walked from Puerto Montt don't tell me that walking to the the customs in Argentina is impossible freaking legends <laughs> Argentinian flag, ladies and gentlemen, and I got goosebumps. <laughs> no, how good! So this is the line for the customs clearance, more or less, I guess. Should be a time. It's always good. The doing the customs control makes me like, gives me that that feeling like, all right, we've we've made it. We're here, and. We're officially in the country, stress-free, legally and officially. What are you up to? <laughs> it's almost like they like us or something. They're sending us to the front of the line, something like that. That's the flag of flags. <laughs> I'm being like more like, it's like less filmy if you get what I mean, because it's not really legal. <laughs> Driving away from the official customs of Argentina. We're officially here now. Soon. Soon, but you soon. Beautiful lakes. Signs saying snow chains on tires. And we're officially in Argentina. But you relax, it's good. <laughs> They're just happy to see us. How insane, how crazy. I love Argentina from the moment I enter because the customs took us all of 10 minutes. They had a huge, beautiful golden retriever running around the office. <laughs> and yeah, the lines went through quick and they didn't even check our vehicles. I had the official that I was um, doing the doing the paperwork with, she even came out to have a look at the tuk-tuk like, I don't know, just big smiles, you get me? Come on, Stas. Alright, nice to meet you guys, take care. Bye-bye. We've got the tuk-tuk on the other side, we just, yeah, we keep meeting legends. Uh, I know that there's almost ebbs and flows. We have phases where we'll, like, the, we won't get much love from, from the route and the highway. And then we get other times where there's so much love and everybody stops and wants to meet us. So even we just pulled up and as we're pulling up, there's somebody that was driving behind us a while. They stopped to, to, to just ask and see what we're up to. So uh, the first thing they said was, you're pretty fast. <laughs> I was like, what do you mean? <laughs> we're slow as shit. <laughs> um, but no, it's, it's cool. So we just stopped Paddy's. Paddy's been doing really well behaving um, for getting through both both customs. We we didn't really stop and let her out because she, we, well we tried, but yeah, raining and snowy, she just kind of hopped out, hopped back in. So weather's cleared up and we've just seen this lake off to the side. There's like seven famous lakes throughout Argentina. I think we've missed a couple um, because we've, they're, they're kind of north of us and we're going to be going south since we've been just traveling through Chile until now But yeah, what better way to, to get a little walk in for Paddy than to To um Yeah, go check out a lake at the same time because we're on the highway like this is the main highway now I think it's route route 40 now <laughs> That we're on the the famous route 40 or we're very close to getting on it. Wow <laughs> Wow, but the you know <laughs> If it wasn't cloudy, you'd see these um, snow-capped mountains as well. Like, 
up there. But that, that beach is gorgeous. Gorgeous, blue and sandy. There's a wharf and stuff. What are your thoughts? Wow. What a setup. What a view. This is good, eh? This is such a new behavior from Batty. <laughs> the highway staunch. That's cute as heck. <laughs> Oh shit, I didn't give ah, ah. <laughs> I didn't give a lot of um Yeah, the tuk tuk didn't like that. <laughs> it fully just turned off after bumping up into this lookout. So I made a last isn't just I made a last minute decision that we gotta check out this lookout. And what the heck? We've just run into like a bunch of lakes, ladies and gentlemen. We were deserts not a while, not too long ago, and then we just did like the, the coastal route, and now we're seeing lakes. I've got to take this Chilean flag off right now as well. I'm not mad at the country, I'm just excited to be here. This is far, a route, this is wild. Argentina, baby! It's un sentimiento! Ole, ole, ole! <laughs> si! How good! Bit of duct tape, kinda got stuck. There we go. Clear that up. Looking good. I'm glad to be driving behind that once again. <laughs> Back in Argentina, where I'm about to buy fuel and a sandwich across the road for three times less than it would cost me for the same stuff in Chile. Thank you, Argentina. <laughs> Boy, have I missed you, eh? It is very much Argentina to have a line out the door of the <laughs> the service station, like we're all waiting on the on the road. Um, but uh, no, nah, it's chill. It's really chill. <laughs> it's just part of the fun. And just the YPF with snowy back snowy mountains in the background is like is something else, eh? Yeah, just I uh, thought fuel mad cheap and now the sandwich of, of dreams. Ace Ace is just ski ski town vibes and I love it. So, yeah, the plan is, right, I don't know what this guy's doing. Um, the plan is to not stay in Bariloche, but at least see it being like a touristic town. So we're one town before it, and with the weather being the way it is. <laughs> Thanks, brother. Nice. My guy, I need to turn right. <laughs> He's like riding alongside me. <laughs> <laughs> um, look at this, man. Yeah, massive ski town vibes. So, this whole region maybe is slightly touristic, so it's a bit um, expensive, right? So, our plan is to try to stay 
cheaper here in like a slightly cheaper town. We're gonna go suss out this hostel that I've just seen. Yeah, we just tried the hostel behind me. Um, it's gorgeous. The town's gorgeous. I'm like, oh, there's no way we're gonna be getting like a, a sweet price. Um, so, yeah, the private was about the same as what I was paying in Chile. Um, so I was like, ah, oh, we're gonna try to maybe wild camp or I don't know what we're gonna do. Maybe find somewhere cheaper on the way to Bariloche, but I think in, in this, at least in this zone, it's gonna be more or less the same. But it is what it is, we'll figure it out. Why don't we put the, yeah, yeah. Looking good. Break. Yeah, it's been an absolute send of a day. I'm very hungry, keen to eat this sandwich and hook in. Give Patty a walk, Patty. A hey, close, yeah. So, this is what we've built and constructed. A bacon, ham, cheese, chicken slice, salad, oregano, salsa picante, spicy sauce. How good, eh? Looks like we've just seen a camping spot up ahead. So for a turn off, like a designated campsite, but obviously wild camping's the go-to. Absolute dogs and not the good kind, hey buddy? Frick, man. And it's gonna be like eight or seven dollars for the night, but they don't accept dogs. Hey, come on, relax, I know. Setting they don't accept you, but it is what it is. So that was also, unfortunately, the general verdict of the town as well. I asked a couple more people in a couple more places, no dogs. So, look at this guy. <laughs> Some dude trying to overtake us on a blind corner, you muppets. <laughs> oh boy. Now go. Yeah, good boy. And they got their phone out. <laughs> Maybe that's what they were trying to do. They were fully trying to <laughs> wait for the daughter to have the phone out and then and then record. So just down the road we found another camping. Same sign out the front, no dogs. I was just about to drive off and the lady came out and yeah, just chuck a smile on. She's like, I think I've seen you on Facebook or TikTok. And I was like, potentially, because um, another Argentinian just before said something like they said the same. And I said, and I said, oh, I was gonna stay, but um, you don't accept dogs. And they said, to be honest, there's nobody. We might be able to make an exception. And the exception was made, so. We're freaking lakeside, baby. And because we've got the place ourselves, and there's over like 30 designated campsites. We're just gonna pick the best of the best. Huh. The best of the best. That's us right there. Ooh, spicy man. How exciting. Another night without internet. Sorry, mom, but we're gonna do what we gotta do. We're loving life. Look at that, eh? Little matecito. Oh, yeah, that's awesome. It's so fatty. Happy? Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah, come on, where's the ball? Fetch. Fatty, fetch. Fatty, mira. Fetch, fatty. Mira, fetch. Yeah, yeah, you're still confused. I don't think she's ever played fetch in her life, so she's really just <laughs> out here for a good time. So that, that behind us is the setup. She slept with me last night and I think I'm just gonna have her in the tent again. Um, safe spot and that way she's, she's chill and warm. I think that's maybe why when we got here she was just so excited because she's like, maybe we're sleeping together in the tent again. 
How good would that be, eh? And that we are. A bit windy, but I need to make the tent a little bit more sturdy, I think. I might swim tomorrow and then have a warm shower <laughs> afterwards because it's going to be freezing. Any lake with snowy mountains in, in the background behind, it's, it's like that, but um, yeah, nonetheless, I'm keen to see the sights tomorrow morning. Gonna call it there, what a day, what a day. Now I know we've signed off, but I was just sipping here with the mate. Patty's sleeping in the tent. And the little boy rode his bike down and his mum's made empanadas. Freaking fresh, like, oh, this campsite, eh? <laughs> I didn't think it could get better with the view on and then it did what a day what a day